Hello, hello. Today we're doing some Final Fantasy IX. Also, hello, Scarlet. I see you there. With all your ba 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 in the uh, in the chat. Uh, don't want me. Worked on a new little getup today. I think I did a pretty good job putting this outfit together. Uh, give me a second here, actually. Let me set, set the camera up. I can, I can sort of show it off a little bit, I guess. Because this is a new outfit. Uh, give me a second here. Come on, camera. Move out. There you go. figured purple and silver. I was originally considering going with just purple and gold, but it's like, ah, gold seems a little overdone. Silver looks classier. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm in the minority here. Maybe I'm the small minority that thinks silver looks classier than gold. Although I was also considering making the outfit brown instead of purple, but eh. Although I guess the brown probably would have matched my hair a little better. Eh. I don't know, I like it. Anyways. <laughs> Final Fantasy IX. Uh, this is the, uh, the remastered version that's currently available on uh, Steam. Uh, you can also play it on uh, various consoles. This is the PlayStation 4 version specifically. I have, weirdly enough, I have actually never played Final Fantasy IX. But, like, being essentially a Final Fantasy completionist, I wanted to own all the Final Fantasy games. I, I want to, at some point, get the, uh, the collection that they did, which is the first six games. Because I'm not really too keen on the idea of paying like the ridiculous marked up rates that some people are selling them for on eBay. Because I want to get the physical edition. Because apparently it's like, um... It's quite literally like... The first, um... I think it's like literally like the first six games on like a single game cartridge. And I just really like the idea of that. Oh my god, why does this drink taste like soap? Sorry, I got like this new uh what the hell is it? What's the flavor here? Tropical mango flavor. And it's like it's got a vaguely soap flavor. It's like a canned uh, bubble tea? Boba tea? Which I will say, um, didn't realize till today that you could apparently get boba tea canned. So, that was a surprise. Um, I also picked up the brown sugar flavor. Like, the brown sugar one tasted fine. Wish I had saved the brown sugar one until now. But eh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. Sure is dark. Oh yeah, I heard rumors that they're supposedly gonna be doing a remaster for this game similar to like what Final Fantasy VII got. Guess nobody's here yet. Controls. Confirm. Cancel and dash. Menu. Movement. Fix camera. Perspective. Escape battle. Auto bat. Wait, there's an auto battle option? Oh, that's kind of cool. Cards and Moogle. Pause. Well, I kind of feel like the pause button is kind of like a go-to standard for most games. So, I mean... 
I don't know. I feel like that one's kind of cheating a little bit. Like, toggle help. Let's see. Let's, uh, I'm going to toggle help. Nope. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything yet. light the candles in the middle of the room here. Like, my only experience with this game is literally watching my... Oh, wow. Okay, it actually pulled up the digital keyboard. Oh! I didn't realize he was 16. Because I've seen... I, I, know, I know of this character. He's in, like, the Final Fantasy fighting games, like Dissidia, which I have played. So, Zidane... So I am familiar with Zidane. It's just, um... Can't say I've ever actually, like, you know, legitimately... Oh, oh. Wow, they even have, like, his dominant hand listed. So it's like, okay, so he's a right-handed male who's 16, and he's a tailed race human. It's me, Zidane! Oh, there's my boys, uh... Blank. Hey, Zidane. You sure are late. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize for that. Mm, sorry. So, where's the boss? Yeah, you know me. I was just drinking with the boys. No. <laughs> no, excuse me. Oh, I don't know why that came out. I think I drank that, uh... Yeah, I know. I know. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know why that... Like, I am, I'm a little embarrassed that I came out. But yeah, where is the boss? Is he here yet? I see what they're doing. They're doing something similar to like what Resident Evil did with the pre-rendered backgrounds. But then when you're actually in combat, it switches to 3D rendered environments. Well, yeah, I know how active battle works. Okay, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Steel. Let's, let's mug this guy. Got nothing to steal. Okay. Ah, is he like a Batman or like a Pigman? You know, I'm, I'm gonna just go out and limb and say Pigman. He's a pig. What the hell do they call it? Um. I know in some RPGs, uh, in some fantasy RPGs, uh, they kind of depict the orcs having more pig-like characteristics. So I guess technically he could be an orc. Hey, fools! Oh, it's Baku. Not to be confused by for his twin brother, Baka. You're looking a lot better. Don't know why I'm giving him that. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's start this meeting already. Come on, bitches. <laughs> Don't know why I'm giving them that kind of voice. <laughs> All right, here's the plan, bitches. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission is to kidnap their heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship is about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, 
we're going to put on our costumes. And before him, I want to be your canary, the most popular player in Alexandria. Break her leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me, of course. The real kidnappers be blank and Zidane. I'll distract the audience backstage with these little buggers. Can't stand ooglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. That's when I kidnapped the queen, right? Oh god, why do I want to be an asshole and say that's when I kidnapped the queen, right? You know, I'm gonna go with that. You bet, you're gonna kidnap the fat ass ugly butt queen. But wait a minute! <laughs> that's when I kidnapped Princess Scarlet. You bet, you're gonna kidnap Princess. Kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Wow, aren't you a pig? Well, I mean, he literally does have pig-like characteristics, so I mean... If the shoe fits... I swear, like, this- even though this was a PS1 game, like, this still looks really good for a PS1 game. It's like, oh, and there's our, uh, I, I know this character. This is Vivi, the uh, black mage character of uh, the game. Because he's in other games, too. I like Vivi. He's, he's a fun little character. Plus, uh, from what I've watched of my sister play this game, like of what little I've watched, Vivi was kind of like one of my favorite characters because... I don't know, he seems so innocent and pure. And it's like, I don't know, I like my my wholesome little mate my wholesome little guys. <laughs> like Zidane's kind of like an asshole, but it's like he's a lovable asshole. Kinda think characters like Peter Pan or Robin Hood. Where Vivi's like hmm What's the closest analog I can think of? You know, he, Avini's kind of like Prompto, except smarter, somehow. Because he can use black magic. Oh no! Vivi got knocked over. Are you alright? Here, you drop your ticket. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, that's a cute little, that's a cute little kid. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I would like. Oh, just a little longer. Darling, I'm home. I'm not done with Ilya's dress yet. Come back later. Oh, every year it's always the same. Spilling them grandkids, I see. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I want to see if... Oi! Oi! Why are you getting in my way? for me you can't play cards unless you have at least five of Terano Castle, Exan Alexandria, is this way. <laughs> uh, 
I love the art style. It's kind of got like an old, kind of whimsical medieval fantasy. I, I know that like a lot of the older Final Fantasy games, you kind of want to like run in near the grass and just kind of mash the buttons. Uh, funny thing is, um, I actually have a physical strategy guide for this game. Uh, what happened was a friend of mine was getting rid of a bunch of their old books. And one of the books they had that they were getting rid of was an old strategy guide for this game. Along with a strategy guide for Final Fantasy X. And a strategy guide for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Male Red Mage. I don't know why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. Maybe it's because you can't get someone to go with you? Ah, Maggie. I gotta get back to work. Alright. Let's get crazy hair over here to talk. Oh, Ashley? I don't know why. I always found Ashley as a guy's name kind of weird to me. We'll sure be busy tonight. But it'll also be the last time we'll be so busy. Why is that, I wonder? Does he know something more than I know? What the hell happened to the stairs there? I'm mostly saying there's like a giant chunk taken out of them. Also, why is there randomly a cup floating? Like, am I... Like, I know I'm not seeing things. Like, there is definitely a cup floating there. Oh. Okay, let's, let's take a look at his items. Oh, right, okay. So this is the Final Fantasy game that introduced this mechanic. Okay, I remember... I know what this mechanic's about. Okay, so basically... A, a couple other RPGs have actually copied this mechanic. So, basically... Um... Certain pieces of equipment have skills attached to them. You have to use the skill a set number of times to earn XP for that skill that is attached to your equipment piece. Once you've used it X number of times, your character will learn and master that ability. So you'll not be able to so you will not need to have that equipment equipped in the future should you want to um, use that ability in the future. So, essentially, you might actually need to, at certain points in the game... Oh, cool, I got a card. Equip characters with worse equipment than what you should use. Wow, nobles are so posh. You said it, hippo kid. But, uh, yeah, like... Because uh, another game that I've played, it's an Xbox uh, 360 title. It sort of copied it, and I heard that it was um, the director of the game apparently said that he was inspired by older Final Fantasy games from the PS1 era. But I don't, I didn't remember any of the Final Fantasy games having the mechanic. So now that I know the actual source, like yes, um, like Final Fantasy IX had a different mechanic. They had the um, the absorb system, where basically you could absorb skills from certain characters. And summons were essentially equipment pieces that you could put on a character. Like, they were called Aeons, I believe. And any character could have a set number of Aeons equipped. But they would also affect stats and abilities, too. Wow, how would you get a ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamped before you can enter the castle. Let me see if I can find any more free cards, because I want to play the card game. Because I know that it's in Final Fantasy VIII, and I just remember really loving the card game. Oh, you know, I remember that there's a skip rope in the game. Want to try? Wait, what button do I need to press the... Okay, it's just the action button, the jump rope.
Oh wait, how do I how do I do okay I guess it's tie-in mist? I'll, I'll try doing that one later. I'm not gonna spend the entire game playing jump rope. Dante, the sign maker. Can't you see I'm working? Don't interrupt. Alright. <laughs> um, although, to my knowledge, um, at least from what my sister told me, if I recall, Um, you get an item if you get, like, a certain score, I believe? What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see, really quite sorry. What, I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it. Jeez. Yikes. City people are so scary. Sorry, no vacancies today. Busy, busy, busy. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Lady Hippo. Busy, busy, busy. Everything the light touches is Vivi's kingdom. Actually, is there an option to... Wait, what the hell is high speed mode? Oh! Oh no! It like turbo speeds the game! Holy crap! Oh! I'm just walking! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Can I help you, son? Show ticket. What's this? There's something on in this ticket. Why, well, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No! Now, now, don't cry. I know you, how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Try to cheer up now. Goblin card. Fang card. Skeleton card. Take them to Alleyway Jack and learn how to, about these cards. Good luck, lad. Okay, I'm gonna turn turbo speed off. Oh god, the speed is too much. <laughs> Zoom. Oh, I see. Wow! <laughs> I like that little emote. The blossoms in Alexandria are quite splendid, don't you think? Wait, do I have five cards now? I play cards every day. I'll be more than a match for the likes of you. Actually, no. Wait, can I can I save my game? Oh. How do I save? Oh, there's an option to turn. even turn the menu color blue. Hey, Clausard. Hmm. Not gonna lie, the blue, I feel like, makes it feel less awkward, somehow? Like, I don't know. Oh, you're at work right now? How's that going right now, if you don't mind me asking? I was thinking there's a save point around here somewhere, unless this game doesn't do save points. Man, for 30 years, work our really ends off, and finally we can afford a ticket to the show. So happy. I'm taking my wife to the theater tonight. So, we shall close soon. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's a bit hard to hear due to how loud it is at work. 
Oh yeah, that's right. You work at an assembly uh, line for automobiles. It's been a long time since I played. How about a cold game? Sure, let's play. Okay, okay, I remember now. Okay, uh, okay, so ideally, I want to play something that can hit him. So I'm thinking I play my slime. All right. Well, don't work too hard. Okay, okay, so he's taken out my slime, but I took out his knight. Okay, so I can take my slime back. stand for? Is there, like a, is there like a way to translate what these symbols mean? Is P more powerful than M, or is M more powerful than P? Or do the, the, the letters represent like their move types? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm the same level of power, so I'm just gonna go here, I guess? Oh, cool, I win. Barely, but I won. Oh, cool, and I get to take one of his cards. Uh, I'm... I'm gonna take a skeleton. Uh, sure, let's do a rematch. skeleton I just got off of him. Yeah, a little bit. I, I kind of like this game. Like, this is like one of my favorite aspects. Because this game was actually in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. And it's also in Final Fantasy XI. And I, I used to spend like a lot of time playing this in the older Final Fantasy games that it's in. So I want to hit him from the diagonal, because he had no diagonal. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm hoping my skeleton is more powerful than his goblin. So I'm taking a gamble here. Cool. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Let's go attack his slime. Okay, I'm pretty sure my slime is more powerful than his skeleton, so... And... Okay, cool! I won! Okay, and I get to now take any one of his cards. So... Looks like I'm better off taking his goblin. Because all his other cards kind of suck. No rematch. I'm going to challenge his wife now. I'm going to kick your wife's ass! So, how about a card game? I'm going to kick your ass at a children's card game. <laughs> Actually, I, I should be safe in this spot. Ooh. 
Okay, deadly spot, deadly spot. Okay, um, let's go here. Okay, we'll go... Uh, this can go one of two ways. But I'm gonna gamble on it. I'm gonna gamble on it. Ooh, okay, that was bad. That was bad on my part. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Shit. The wife was the better card gamer. Oh, well, I, I lost my go goblin, but I can win it back. Draw. Sure, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll accept a draw. Okay, come on. Okay, so this is easy enough to counter. That was a bad play on her part. Ew. much, but I won. Okay, uh, her wolf is worse than mine. Uh, the only thing really worth taking from her is the slime, I think? So I'm taking her slime. Using her slime. And my slime. Skeleton. The wolf. And a goblin card. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's just put him here. It's a safe spot to play. Ah, shoot. That was a bad spot to put it. It's fine. Goblin. No rematch. Oh! Cool, looks like another shop is actually connected to this building. Okay. I keep telling my son will go out of business, but he never comes home. Son's an ass. Hmm. Which sword to buy? I wish I had a little more money. Yes, I know the rules of the card game. Would you like to play? Yes. We're just gonna challenge everyone that we can to a card game. God, we're like Yugi Moto from Yu-Gi-Oh! We're challenging everyone to a children's card game!
Actually, you know what? I guess that's more of a Seto Kaiba move, really. Shut up, Lokuma. <laughs> Like that? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Guy was the beast. Okay, let's try. Shiza. You can only take cards that you've actually destroyed, technically, or I should say switch to your side. So, as much- the card I actually want to take from them, I can't take because I didn't take it down. So... I guess I'll take this one, as it's slightly better than what I've got. at least the sides that I would get attacked from by putting it there in that spot. Okay, so... Here. Oh, okay. Um... Skelly Man. I can get my beast back, I guess. Bad spot for them to put that. I'm confused. How do you get a card with no arrows on it? Um, hmm. Do I want the zombie looking thing or do I want the boar looking thing? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this creature. Oh, it's a zombie. Okay, so it is a zombie. I want the boar. I'm a zombie to my deck. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play... Uh, I'm just gonna play defensively. There we go. see a sea creature looking thing. Hmm. Uh, I guess 
Let's take that one. Okay, come on. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that should be an easy enough takedown. Uh, let's use my goblin here. PC that he specifically said, okay, can I help you, son? Tell me about Alexandra. Leave. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember where did he say I should go? Specific. Was it this NPC here? Can't lose if I go in the corner there. And guess I'll just take the wolf, because I lost that card, so it'll be new for me. No need to rematch. What are great cards? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Final Fantasy, the only card game, or the only video game with card games on motorcycle that's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Adjacent. But you know what? Um, uh, I'll take it. Shiza. Ah. Well, at least I was able to counterplay it. And I got a bomb now. Nope. Okay, now I, I, I want to find a save point so I can save my game because I don't want to lose the cards I've gotten. Blast it. Hey, you made me miss, you little klutz. Fuck you. Screw you, old man. Cool, that should do it. I am a good boy. Well, it's been a long day. Hey, you shrimp. You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? Are 
Are you Alleyway Jack? Do I look like that loser? But I'll let you see you in to see the show if you become my slave. I don't wanna. Okay, Dean. Later. Coming soon. Mini theater under construction. Ah, okay. Okay, where's... Oh, hello again. Wanna try playing cards? I just learned the rules. I will destroy Woo Wicker Girl in our child wins card game. <laughs> Why am I speaking like this? <laughs> no, you know what, screw it. We'll use the bomb card. Yeah, we'll use the bomb. I target. Okay, I'm gonna target the goblin. Hmm. Okay, I'm taking their boar because it's better than mine. Yours, my friend. <laughs> no, uh, and we're gonna use my goblin. Oh, shoot. Uh, I played that card wrong. Wait, why am I? You know what? Screw it. I'm taking that card. It's a free, it's a free takedown. By much, but still a win is a win. Slime. Okay, no need to rematch her. Is there actually a wooden user? Oh, can I not go upstairs in her house? I wish to do more breaking and entry. I wish to take all of your worldly possessions. Let me upstairs, child. Let me upstairs. Okay, fine. I'm leaving your house. And then coming back in, because worldly possessions... Oh, okay, she, she didn't move. Okay, she didn't move. That's, that's sad. Uh, fuck, I, I didn't, I didn't want to go in. Sorry, the, the sticks were a little sensitive there. What's going on in this building? Pull a rope. I wake the bell. <laughs> okay, high speed mode does have its uses. Makes climbing ladders less annoying. Hey kid. Don't even think about trying to sneak up into the castle by boat. I tried last year, but them guards, they caught me double quick. <laughs> Play some guards? Sure. Okay, let's see. We're gonna use the goblin. We're gonna use two goblins. My skeleton warrior. God, I really do feel like I'm setting up a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. 
uh, actually, and then, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, we don't, we don't need bomb. We'll just use skeleton instead. Skelly man. chicken dinner. Oh, that's annoying. And it's only his bad cards? Guess I'll take the boar. in a spot where he can't be taken. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're gonna do a pro gamer move. I know exactly what card I'm taking. I know exactly what card I'm taking. I, 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 what? I, oh, I, I get all the cards. Okay. I, got, I freaked out for a second there. I thought I, I was, it was picking for me. I didn't realize a perfect victory just gave you all the opponent's cards. Okay, fairy man, all your cards are mine. Them newfangled beast powered ships float through the air, but true ships are sh supposed to float on the water, right, Shunny? Wanna play some cards with these old geezers? Sure. Let's go, uh, Goblin. Goblin. Boar. Zombo. Dragoon. Take a draw. At least I get to walk away with my cards. Wait, is this 
back alley jump? Well, can't you meet and run away? Tell me if you see him, okay? Yes. Thanks. Card game? Zombo? Or... Gobbo, Gobbo. Dragoon. Hoppity, your dragon's my property. Whip! Well, fuck you! Boop, boop, hi, cuties! I stole your fucking cards! <laughs> now off to go rescue your kitty! Wait. Oh. Oh, now I can go upstairs. Well, I just told her life savings. Or should I say, my life savings? Ha 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 ha. Okay, where? Oh, crap. I hate how sensitive the doors are. And I guess that's more of a mild complaint about this generation of games. Oh, wait. Ah, yes. Telling me to not drop my ticket. After I just broke into her house and jacked all her money. All three gil of it. I'm a rich mother hugger now. Ah, it's a commemorative statue for the Three Knights of Pluto. Although I will say, I could see how players could, like, theoretically be spinning. Wait, is this guy? What kind of fight would sell you a fake ticket? A little key? Hey, how about some cords? I'm pretty good, you know. You say? Alright, I'm gonna defeat him with an army of goblins and skeletons. In a single Zombo. I, I don't see how this guy is good. That is a terrible card. Never mind. I stand corrected. He deliberately played a bad card as an opener. That's actually kind of a pro gamer move. Bomb is better than mine. I'm taking his bomb. I'm taking her bomb and leaving. Never to be seen again. Actually, wait a minute. Um, the shop here. Can I go inside? Good afternoon. Uh, wait, okay. Got a mage masher knife. Do I want to buy more potions or anything like that? Uh, you know, I don't really have a lot of gold, so I think I'll save my gold for now. Okay, I'm gonna challenge this card. 
It's time to do 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 duel. Okay, let's go with uh, the bomb opener. Best to go with something that I can attack diagonally, just in case. Oh, I did not like that at all. Okay, maybe I can chain attack back. One by one, well, by two, I should say. So, guess I'm taking his skeleton. That's actually pretty decent. It's all in the cards. God, there's a trophy for that. Okay, what about you, Red Mage? You got any cool cards that I can steal? I mean, uh, win legitimately. Wow, that was not the brightest move they could have made. Guess I'll play the card there. Why? Uh, 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 my brain is hurting. Is this guy throwing? Did I encounter the Red Mage Master of Throwing matches? Save it for later, kid. Can I kick your ass in card game? Because you were a dick, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass in a children's card game. God damn it, Mukaba. <laughs> game. Okay, what about her? I think I remember seeing a little bit. Okay, did she have a card game? Okay, I can challenge her to a card game. We're not very busy yet, so how about a card game? Okay, let's see. 
It's Goblin Goblin. Skelly Man. Zombo. Bomb. And joke's on you, I've rigged my deck with a box of C4! I'm full of love in C4! <laughs> Uh, let's go here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, okay, that was a bad play on my part. Okay, okay, okay. Um, is like guarded on all sides so that's like the best wolf I've seen in this game so far PG 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 potato goodbye friend hello new friend goodbye friend hello friend we're going to be friends <laughs> Why do I like Pigeon? Because Pigeon is friend-shaped. Yep. Wolf. Gobbo. Skelly Man. Zombo. Bomb. Stronger than Flan. Or actually, Zombo is stronger than Flan. What? back. Mom, he bullied me. back. I'm not playing with him anymore. I don't want to play with him any. I don't want to play with him anymore. Wait, is that the guy's cat? Meow. Oh, you found him. Come here, kitty. Thank you. Glad that I could reunite Tom with his cat. Hello, bird people. Oh, isn't the play about to begin? Yes. Wait, does this turn like a hamster? Why, you're no city child, and you aren't a noble child either. Ah, and you're a douche. 
Funny how that works. No, nobles always come to Alexandria to see the annual performance. Alexandrian soldier kids shouldn't leave the city by themselves, you know. Sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. <laughs> Yes, yes. I, I too think card games are the appropriate thing to do to pass the time instead of staring at, um... Things. <laughs> and people. Oh boy, I'm gonna murder someone! I was staring respectfully. But little did he know that that was a bold-faced lie. He was staring most disrespectfully. <laughs> You're making a call-up post on your Twitter.com. <laughs> with the Omega's a bitch-ass motherfucker! <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're not exactly wrong. <laughs> I'm a pervert. Who isn't a bit of a pervert sometimes? You're, you're, I feel like you're allowed to be a little bit perverted sometimes. As long as you don't make it your entire personality, I think it's fine. And we all know what I'm talking about. Like, there are those people that, for whatever reason, just make their perversion their entire bloody personality. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Like, how do they adapt to normal society? Uh, you know, here, I'll put the bomb here. Man. Nope. Although, I don't know why, looking at their design, they remind me of Cammy from Street Fighter. All perversion aside, their outfit reminds me of Cammy from Street Fighter. Oh, cool! I got a free card! Another free card. I do like the shield design. I kind of wish they were like... I don't know, I kind of wish they were a little more covered up though. It's like, I don't know, it seemed a little impractical to have their legs exposed so much like that. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, maybe I'm being the minority. They're, like, they're supposed to be guards, right? So it's like, I don't know, maybe they, maybe they should be wearing heavier armor? I, I, I can get the arms being a little exposed, because it's like, hey, you know what? Mobility. But it's like, I don't know, maybe like a little more leg covering to like protect the legs? Because it's like, if you get hit in the wrong spot on your legs, it's like, game over, man, game over. Thank you. 
Sometimes these card values make no sense in my head. I'm not even going to question it. speed mode. Back to normal speed. Going a little too fast there. Alright, what do you say? Fine. Slave time it is, I guess. Awesome. Now for first assign me. You gotta stay over here and see if anyone will come in. I think someone's coming. You think? I wanna know! Yeah, it's clear. Awesome. Engage according to mission parameters. Take the ladder. <laughs> Run away. Uh, excuse me, but is your name Alleyway Jack? Hmm? How did you know my name? If you know who I am, you probably want to challenge me to cards, huh? You don't know how to play? Uh, yeah. Well, why not? Finish one job already. Follow me, kid. Start with the basics. You need five cards to play the game. How does the card game proceed? Oh 
yeah, I know the, the grid. I know how the yellow arrows work. I want to know how the numbers at the bottom work. What's a card battle? I know about combos, so... but I'll click... It's a perfect... okay, I know about the perfect game. It's collector's level, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me to collector's level. Try again. Way too cocky in that, those last couple card games. play someone who's terrible at the game. Maybe I can win some of my good cards. Or not some of my good cards, but some good cards. written on them? I wish there was a way to more easily understand the cards. Is it just like blind luck? Or, is it just like blind luck or something? values? Like, I imagine it has something to do with, like, the monster's, like, value. Like, I know intrinsically certain monsters are more powerful than others. Like, a dragon is obviously more powerful than a bomb, and a bomb is more powerful than a flan, so... <laughs> that or who? Believe in the heart of the cards! 
But no, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> there are no shit cards in my grandpa's deck. But there is! He's dementia medication! <sighs> Who the hell are you? How'd you get in my house? I don't have a grandson. Ugh. Oh, I mean, at least it was a bad card that I lost. Although, I think it'd be funny as all hell if it turns out that that card I lost is actually like one of the best cards in the game. And it's like, HOW'D YOU LOSE THAT SUPER RARE AWESOME CARD?! Hard there just to block things from attacking me. At this point, I'm just gonna be getting one of my cards back. And draw is better than nothing. Goblin or a weak dragon that we can take down. say this guy is definitely really good at the game at the very least he's got really good cards now that our rat master has basically run off this way over e don't fall behind into the staple. Now we will climb up the tower. It's very dangerous. You go first. Ah, oh, what the heck was that? Sorry about that, Koopa. That Koopa is a Moogle. Koopa. And this is my slave number one. Try to get along, okay? Koopa, pleased to meet you. I'm sorry, I enter you into Moogle Diary. If you want to save game, just ask us Moogles, Koopa. And you can regain health if you have a tent, Koopa. I understand. Glad I can help, Koopa. Alright, time for some upward mobility. Okay, come up, born slave. Koopa, here. 
<laughs> Kupo still skin. Why you? Why the get up? You leaving Koopa? Actually, I'm gonna turn the high speed mode off for a second. <laughs> the animations are a little weird at high speed. Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I miss you, Koopa. Now, don't you worry. I'll write. Okay, Koopa. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Is that a friend of yours? Yes, Kupo. A very special one, Kupo. Hey, slave! I thought I ordered you up here! Okay, I should probably save my game. Save. Alright. Let's see, what the hell is Magnet? I'll tell you about Magnet. Magnet is a mail delivery sir. system between the Moogles. We can send and receive letters, okay. Sure. You've got no mail. I have a favor to ask you, Koopa. I want you to deliver a letter to Monty, okay. Thanks, Koopa. I want to save again. Well, now that I got save point. I can save scum my cards back. This way, I don't have to necessarily get good per se, more save scum my way back to my card standing the way it was earlier. Plus, I want to get that zombie card back. Like, oh, this is a card I lost before. Okay, I can get this card back. Or at the very least, attempt to get it back. I'll take it. Wait, what? Oh, right, it wasn't a perfect win because he took one of my cards. Uh, guess I'll take the wolf back. That's perfect. Challenge the old man. Perfect wolf. Skelly man. Wizard man and Dragoon. Okay, we're gonna do hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this move. like that dude whipped out the whammy jammy combo on my ass.
I don't even know what the hell that means. It sounds intimidating. It sounds imposing. talk to the kid that got his cat back. Thanks. Here, this is for you. Bomb. Meow. Meow. Kid, I didn't realize your cat was Markiplier. Meow. Sorry. I don't know why... <laughs> <laughs> to do the, <laughs> the dumb joke. Because, like, I remember there was this one video that Markiplier uploaded years ago. And it's a video of, like, him weirdly, like, I don't know, like, was he high or something? Like, I, I don't know what was going through his head when he made that video. It, it, it's weird as all hell. Like, don't get me wrong. Dude probably had a blast making it. Doesn't make it any less weird. scared there for a second. Taking his skelly man. No rematch. Don't mind me, I'm running to the save point. I'm save scumming. Save while I'm ahead. Maybe I can win some of those cards back. Shit, I accidentally hit- no. I meant to sit- hit yes.
Oops. 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 We're reloading the game. Oh no. Oh no. I accidentally shut the game down. Ah. Oh no. Oh. And I wanted to keep that loss too. Ah. No. 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 That's that's total bullshit. <laughs> What? The game has an autosave feature? I don't want to use their autosaves. I want to use my manual save. You know, we'll just go up the ladder. Here, we'll speed the game up. Alright, the play's gonna start if we don't hurry. Don't know why I keep speaking with like a really bad accent for him. Come on, get over here. No, this game is not just playing cards. It's just VV's section. He has, uh, from what I remember from my sister's playthrough. He has, um, it's an optional minigame, but VV has a lot of opponents that you can play through. It's an optional side quest. And apparently, if you get, like, a high level in the card game, you can get, like, um, you can get one of, uh, VV's, uh, better equipment pieces by maxing out your card game level. By playing the card game more and getting more cards. It's okay, just put it on the ground. Come on already, we'll roll it at a time. Not again. Don't worry, you ain't gonna fall. <laughs> oh, you... Oh! 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 Poor little baby! Oh, he's a baby! Haha, <laughs> I guess he ain't fail. No point to worry about now. Oh, poor little, poor little guy. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I don't even know your name. Why do I want to like rename him to Baby? <laughs> he is Baby Boy. But, nah, I think I'll just leave his name to Vivi. Wait, 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 wait. Vivi's nine? Dude is a nine year old. Damn. I think that's like the youngest playable character in a Final Fantasy game that I can recall. Because, like, most of the Final Fantasy characters are, like, usually either in their teens or young adult years. I think with a few exceptions, like, Clive, I think he's, like, in his 30s? Although, he starts the game in his teens. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. Who would be the oldest protagonist in a Final Fantasy game? That we play as throughout the whole game. Yeah, I'm still thinking Clive is probably the oldest Final Fantasy protagonist so far. At least main protagonist, anyways. The only close contender would be Sid from Final Fantasy VII. I think he might be in his 40s. But I'm not 100% sure. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, uh, my morbid curiosity is getting the better of me. I need to look this up. Okay, Google. Who is the oldest Final Fantasy protagonist?
Okay, so according to this, it's a toss-up between Lightning and Clive. As Lightning is 21 years of age at the start of the series. And according to this, Clive at the end of the game is 28. Oh, apparently Cloud is tied. He's also 21. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy's comment. Okay. As someone who's in their 30s, it's refreshing to see a Final Fantasy MC in their 30s. Or at least close to it. They really made Clive the most relatable MC ever by making him a 30-year-old virgin. Clive is the oldest Final Fantasy protagonist, uh, followed by Lightning and Cloud at 21 years of age each. And um, it is, uh, they even mentioned the youngest person in the, in the Reddit, and Vivi is the youngest at nine years old. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet you. Can I go down? Is there anything cool down here? Ooh. Ah! I'm stealing from the crows. Ah, oh, they got money. I knew the crows were loaded. I saw a bird nest. I had to go for it. I knew the crows were loaded. I'm jacking their monies. I'm jacking their life savings. Hippity hoppity, the crow shit is my property. Whew, Fortnite made it. After this wall, we'll be inside the castle. Come on, let's go. Ciao. Yeah, I will say though that this is definitely one of the best looking PS1 games though. To be fair, though, this came out near the end of the PS1's life cycle, and because it has a stylized look, it does make the game a little more timeless. Although I will say, at least with regards to this HD port, if they had taken the time to, like... Oh, God. He was not quitting the... Kidding. The Queen is ugly. Okay, and that's the Princess... Uh, and there's her royal guard. Nice guy liner, dude. I love it. I'm assuming that's, like, the royal guard, right? Is he, like, a head guard? Because he's, like, next to the... the queen and the princess? Vivi's so excited. I love the little man. Huh. Aww. Sad princess is sad. She needs a hug. The queen's just way too into this. Also, her skin is blue. Oh, and there's our piggy ma thief master. Ladies and gentlemen. Or should I say... <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight performance is a story that takes place a long, long time ago. Our heroine princess, Cor La uh, Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father's King Leo. Our story begins, Marcus, having heard this, Crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Bonnet, your highness, Princess Garnet, 
noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers. Tenderless proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Oh, oh, God, they're speaking too fast. For what end thou shalt? Uh, I'm not, like, for the sake of our friends, let's bury the steel in the heart of King Leo? I, I think that's what they said, right? Wait, can I, can I adjust the speed to be slower? We shall back thee, Kingsman. Pray, sheath thy sword. Nay, Kingsman. For I, too, have lost a brother to this fiend. What ho, the fiend! <laughs> Thou darest bear... <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> the treacherous Leo Kingsman suffered... His incompetence! Fucking hell. I can read it, it's just I can't read it out loud fast enough. Okay, we should probably go for the Kingsman, and then go for the King. Stage effects. At least it looks flashy. I can say this much, it looks flashy. Yeah, I think I'll just mash the melee button. Can I, I'm gonna speed this up. Ugh. Thou hast not seen the last of me, Marcus. Come back! Out of the way, Blank! Consider this, Zidane. If Princess Shneer were to marry the Prince Cornelia, peace would reign over both their kingdoms. Tis foolish. If all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world? Hey! God, the music is good! Oh, God. I didn't know this song was actually... Like, I've heard this song before. Final Fantasy IX has some good music. Oh, okay, it's a Simon Says type thing. Okay, so... We shall finish this later. Come back here! 
65 were impressed. Queen Bren was not impressed. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's perform the fight scene again. Okay, it looks like the fight is actually a minigame. Okay. Die, traitor! Is that the best thou canst do? Let's perform this fight. I want to. I want to see if I can get everyone to be impressed with this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's try this again. Ah. Messed up once there? Okay, the queen was not impressed. Let's try this one, one more time. Take it a little slower, a little slower. I messed up and did a wrong input. Okay, let's... It's the D-pad inputs that seem to mess me up, because I have to, like, do a double take on them. I feel like if I was playing with keyboard, probably be a little easier in this regard because you'd have the keyboard inputs instead of like things like don't get me wrong these face buttons on the controller are easy enough to read it's the d-pad that's a little more Fuck! i know i messed up a bunch there
Yeah, tough crowd indeed. Okay, I know I got all the inputs right this time. Did I impress everyone? Woo! Hell yeah! Did it this time! Queen Brian was quite impressed. They demand a... You know what? They're demanding an encore. Sure, let's appease them. Okay. That was probably another perfect performance. I'm not doing another encore. One's enough. They showered me with 10,000 gil. Okay, it was definitely worth it. Uh, ah, oof. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're probably right. That much money falling on your head probably would hurt. That's why we're stealing the armor from the guards. So when we go back out there, the money won't hurt us if we get any more. <laughs> yeah, but this helmet... It kind of smells. What are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big. And my back's... Real itchy. The boots are wet. How is that? Ew. That implies your guy had. It's probably the fat guy in the back there that he's wearing the armor of. I, I don't. How do you have sweaty feet? My gloves are all slime. Gross. Is this guy like swimming in his own juices in the suit? Ew. There's cookie crumbs in my pocket. Yeah. Okay, I got the picture. You still have the package, right? Don't worry. I won't screw up. Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep potion into the Princess Garnet's teacup. And I got a special something for the lovely queen. Yeah, <laughs> they're sleeping so soundly. According to the recon, the royal box should be right above these stairs. Got it. Uh oh, seeing where Marcus sneaks into the Curlia chamber is about to start. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Anything to report? No, ma'am, nothing to report. Very well. Continue your patrol. Yes, ma'am. At once, ma'am. You know, I'm gonna say this right now. That could work as a skin for Cammy in Street Fighter, because she already dresses like that anyways. Oh, she sure is dressed funny. That's like a white mage outfit from the original Final Fantasy. Um, would you please let me pass? Examine her face. Let's see. 
Is there something on my face? Oh, no. You see... I just thought maybe you were one... The one I've been waiting for all this time. Excuse me? You were waiting for me? Yeah, I've dreamt of this meeting. You were... You here ever since I was born. Don't mock me. No, of course not! Oh god, he's hitting on her. Then, I shall take my leave of you. Just a sec. Oh god. Haven't we met before? No, I don't know you. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I'd never let someone as pretty as you get away. Oh god. Dude, crank down the riz! Before it turns into Karipma. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, Zidane's being kind of a cringe lord right now. Dude thinks he's a Sigma Riz Lord, where in reality he's a cringe lord. Ah! <laughs> hey, what's going on, Zidane? Say, you wouldn't... I... I must go! Who the heck was that? Get up, Blank. That was Princess Garnet. Are you serious? We are in trouble! We're in... Trouble we are in! This is terrible! Oh, our heads! Queen Bran will have! We must hurry! We are in trouble! We're in trouble! The right way? That is not! I know it is not the right way. Oh, the portrait on the wall behind them? Really? Do you? Oh yeah, I guess it's the queen. I really do. Wonder I sometimes do. Now is not the time to wonder. Hurry to Queen Brian. We must. We must hurry to Queen Brian. That is not the right way. Not the right way, I know. Do you really? No, I really do. I really wonder sometimes. The, 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 the time to wonder is not now. Hurry to see her majesty, we must. <laughs> Unnecessary. Captain, the Knights of Pluto, Her Majesty is busy. Come back later. Is it an emergency? An emergency it is. A veritable emergency of terrible urgency. Very well. I'll see what I can do. Very grateful will be. <sighs> Curse that Beatrix. Always trying to one-up me. So, what exactly is the problem? Her Royal Highness, Princess Garnet, is in danger. I see. Wait right there. No interruptions. Can't you see I'm watching the show? I don't know why I'm not giving her, like, a, a heavy, kind of cho choked-out voice. Your Majesty, I'm afraid Princess Garnet has... Ah, yes, she did leave her seat a while ago. Your Majesty, that Princess Garnet has run off with the royal pendant. Well, of all the... What could she be thinking? <sighs> General Beatrix, Your Majesty. And Captain, um, what was your... 
Oh my god, dude's 33! Uh... Hmm, should I leave his name default or should I go with uh, the name I was thinking in my head? You know what? Fair. No, no. Here. Well, okay, I got a new name for him. Okay, we'll go with uh, we'll go with the easier thing that I actually know how to spell. Lord Guy. Ah, oh, no! Character limit! Nah, we'll just leave his name default. I wanted to call him Lord Guy Liner. Captain Steiner? Yes, Your Majesty. Go find Garnet. Yes, my queen. At ye once, your majesty. Knights of Pluto! Assemble! Huh. Where is everyone? Captain, sir... All present and accounted for, sir. What are you talking about? There's only two of you. Where are the other six? Why are you useless good-for-nothings? I bring orders from the Queen. Get dressed and go find Princess Garnet. Okay, so someone in a white hood passed through here. Okay, so let's go this way. What do you have to say from the bud? Ah, uh, I'm so hungry! Wimps like you are the reason nobody relies on men in Alexandria! Bite the bullet, you worthless grub! Whatever, Captain. I'm so hungry. I love that as he runs around, his armor actually that clangs. That 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 amuses me. <laughs> I love the little clang 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 of his armor. So many fine dishes. Clang, 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 clang. Whew, I'm gonna cry. Must hurry, must hurry. Now is time you show skill, boy. Fright perfection. Must hurry. Heat upon heat. Oh, so that's that chef character. I, I, I guess they're the chef, because I've seen that character before in like promotional art. Okay, maybe if I get down here, I can actually get a better look at that picture. Oh god, she does actually look a little better in the picture, like what you're saying. Because like you can kind of see it a bit. I'm not sure if that's a cat. She, I, it looks like she's holding a cat or a weird cat bunny hybrid. Bunny. I will call it. You know this globe of Gaia is, was presented by the late king in celebration of the birth of Princess Garnet. The princess? No, she hasn't visited today. Now, where 
is the script for I want to be a canary that Princess Garnet asked for? You see, I never wanted to be in the military. I just wanted to write fantasy novels. Captain, please, let me quit the Knights of Pluto. Sure, you can leave. I really want to let you go, but now's not the time. Now go find Princess Garnet! <laughs> wow, I'm a, I'm a slave driver. Oh, I do wonder what the... How the Princess's Royal Tutor, Dr. Tot, is doing. Kind of like the, the kind of like the library staff. They're an interesting design. They look like they're all sheep people. Not are dog people. I can't really tell. Her Majesty ordered some texts about eidolons, but we've got a lot of books here, you know. Oh, they're just old men. We haven't seen the princess today. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, there's another door. What? The place seems to be a hit. But if we fail to find the princess before the curtain falls, her majesty will be most displeased. The laughing stock, Beatrix and her ret retinue. I must hurry. Hey, let's go to Treno, just the two of us. Hmm, let me think about it. You there, stop that immediately. Go search for Princess Garnet. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Don't know why I just gave the other... The Pluto Knights always ask me out. I don't know what to do anymore. Hmm. I'll be having to discipline those knights later myself. The knights caught simping get a kicking. <laughs> Up the spiral staircase I go. I'm so tired. <sighs> Captain Steiner, do you climb this tower for exercise too? No, 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 I'm searching for Princess Garnet! Is the princess at the top of this tower or not? I want to reach the top, but at my age, I got so short of breath. Hmm. Oh god, this is a really long staircase. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's speed the game up a little bit. Whew. Fatigue rears its ugly head. No, I must persevere. The princess must be found. <laughs> She's on the opposite tower. Wait, over there. It's the it's Princess Garnet. Be rounded by the brigand. Fear not, princess. Your knight is coming. She's got that shit-eating grin. Wait, wasn't I wearing- <laughs> I love how his armor sparked when he jumped! Also, wasn't, like, Zidane wearing armor a few minutes ago? It's funny that, like, he would just take it all off so quickly. Although, I guess the armor was kind of sitting loose, so he probably, like, knocked- like, just-
friends, let's go. Woo! Ow! Do you have your request? Waltz, poker, anything? Well, I say, wasn't she pretty warm? Hey, Zidane, what are you doing here? You can feel my drum reverberating in your gut, can't you? Um, to be fair, from what I've been told, it does get darker in the later half. Wow. Hold your horses there. What a kind of cattle you you chasing, darling? You should at least say you're sorry. Please pardon me. I was in a hurry, you see. And here I am fixing to get ready for my big entrance. Hey, Zidane, did you see the way she hit me? This cowgirl's wilder than a bucking bronco! Just let me talk to her. Just let me talk to her, Ruby. Come again, partner? Did you hear what I was saying? Hey, Ruby, we'll talk later. Whew. Well, looks like... You've finally made up your mind. Wow. We really had to improvise, but... Hey, we got here. We got her. Do you... Do you work on this theater ship? Uh... So, she figured it out, huh? As you have no doubt suspected, the truth is that... Uh, I am actually... Yeah, I kinda already knew. Princess Garnet... Till... Alexandros... Heir to the throne of Alexandria. I have a favor I wish to ask of you. I wish to be kidnapped. Huh? I don't mean... I mean... Uh, um... Wow, this is a weird twist of fate. A princess that wants to be kidnapped. A twist. Please. They've come for me. Ah. So that's what's going on. Alright, leave them to me. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Alright, your highness. I shall hereby be... Do my best to kidnap you. <laughs> oh my god, this is goofy. What are you doing? Come on this way. Don't worry, princess. It's my friend, Sinna. Oh, really? I'm sorry. You startled me. <laughs> well, with a face like... With a face like his, I'd be pretty shocked too. Man, they hurt. I wash every morning, you know. Princess, this way. We'll follow you. Oh, princess? Oh, it's Steiner. Princess! Princess? Princess! 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 <laughs> Where have you been? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Princess! Hey, Cena, this is a dead end. <laughs> I thought this might happen. Open, says me. So I set up this escape hatch. Princess! Come on, jump inside. The princess must be down with the air. I'll go first, sir. Oh no! Help! Step brother, I'm stuck! 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Captain, sir, I'm stuck, sir. Gah, blast it! Help, step captain, I'm stuck. <laughs> he bought it. Oh, that was blank. He was fake stuck. Uh, all those years of working in the adult film industry really paid off for blank. I mean, um, acting, doing normal acting jobs. And doing auditions in rooms with black couches. <laughs> okay. I can take a hint. Dumb joke is dumb. Wow, you're really athletic, princess. I think I'm falling for you. This is nothing. I've been training to escape the castle, after all. What a waste. If only you were a princess. We have no time for idle ch banter. Come, let us move. What should we do now? Is there anything cool down here that I can take? I will say this is definitely one of the lighter and goofier Final Fantasy games, at least at the beginning. Although, if you want a lighter and goofier Final Fantasy game, um, I believe there's uh, a Crystal Chronicles game that was released for the DS? Or there was a spin-off Final Fantasy game... I'm trying to remember the name of it right now. Alright, let's get the play over with. And get the hell out of here. Oh god, Steiner came down the stripper pole. Ah! Princess, I, Steiner, have come to rescue! You needn't worry, your highness. Good work. This will be remembered as the Pluto Knight's finest hours. <laughs> Just relax, princess. We'll get you out of here. What? You're not one of my knights. You can just leave the princess to us. Dun 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 dun. Kick it, Steiner's ass. Villains, how dare you trick the princess? Stole leather hat. Hippity hoppity, your shit is my property, Steiner. Ooh. Senna's dead. Senna's dead. Rip Senna. In the arms of an angel. I'll never give up. Have at thee, you vile cur! No! No! I hate Ooglops! Oh god, dude, scared of bugs? Ooglops! Ah! Oh, that was a chance, come on! <laughs> oh god. Tonight. Alright, tonight I shall see my daughter Cornelia betrothed to Prince Schneider. Oh god. Schneider? As in Rob Schneider? And then Prince Schneider in his kingdom will be mine. Gwahaha! <laughs> Your Majesty, we have caught an entreaty. Why my... Why my poor Marcus? Hark, lad, no matter how much thou dost treasure Cornelia, no matter how deeply she might believe she doth love thee, 
Never shall I see her marry a peasant such as thee. When yon bell strikes three, under the axe thou shall be. What now? We can't go any further. Hmm. Zen, get on number two. Okay, Princess Garnet, this way. Stop! Furthermore... Princess Garnet? Guys, just improvise. Oh! What's all this? Cornelia! Uh... Marcus is Cornelia- Marcus is Cornelia's lover. Oh, Marcus! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> I have studied drama, you know. Okay, guys. Let's keep going. Brona's still watching after all. Oh, Marcus, I missed you so. <laughs> I wish never to leave thy side. Pray thee, lead me from this place. See, King Leo, thou shalt give them thy blessing. Never. Never leave his side, thou sayest. Foolish banter, I will not allow it. Cornelius shall marry none other than this man, Prince Schneider. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is that not so, Prince Schneider? Marry the princess? Me? I, and this traitor's crew, I will put to death. To me of the runaway! Pray, sweet daughter, come home to the castle with me. Nay, father, I shan't return. Cornelia, trouble me no more. This wedding is for thine own welfare. Be mindful of that. Not if I can help it. Now is my moment of vengeance for my parents and for my love of Cornelia. I cut thee down. No! Cornelia! Ma, cause forgive me. I still love my father. Princess. <laughs> Pray thee, forgive my selfishness, father, and spare my sweet Marcus. Bleh. What have I done? I am never to hear my, her loving voice again. Well, this is a play, so it's like supposed to be like a fable. What have I done? I am to never hear her loving voice again. I am cursed never again to feel her soft touch. O oh, cruel fate, thou hast robbed me of all treasure. Yuck. Oh my! Oh wait, I, I know the voice I need to give her. <clears throat> this year's show is splendid! <laughs> Why did she have to die? Why? <laughs> now where could Garnet be? Boo! <laughs> wow, what a show! <laughs> yeah, so sad. I'm glad we climbed all the way here. How about you, huh? Oh, look out! Stop it! Pluto died all the way! <laughs> oh no! Fool, oh my ear! Uh-oh. <laughs> Furry! 
<laughs> Forgive me, Princess. Leave me alone! Stop! Come back here! Don't come any closer! <laughs> oh, that's hot! Oh, that's hot. That's hot. But Zidane, it's time! <laughs> hey -o. What up? Princess Garnet? Let's get out of here. What? What is going on? <laughs> Steiner? Don't follow me anymore. Captain? Sir? We await your order, sir. <laughs> you know, you are right. Technically, the sky is up. Also, the ceiling. And I, I guess the my little tin full of cookies is on the top shelf. So I guess that's also up. I guess I also got this mango drink that I mixed up. I am not a fan of it. Hmm. Yes, cookies indeed. Hmm. Well, um, uh, princess, I'm afraid I cannot comply. Stubborn as always, aren't you? Come on, princess. Let's dish, sir. Rust a lot and get out of here. Princess, wait. Hey, kid, you okay? Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I, I just tripped, that's all. Princess, I cannot allow you to go. Seize them at once. <laughs> Gotta love everyone's favorite nine-year-old, Vivi. He is the best boy. Okay, let's go attack. Wait, summon? Oh, oh! Wait, just summons? Oh, I, I didn't have enough MP to use them yet, though. Okay, so I'm gonna use white magic? No, I'll just, I'll just attack. Let's go attack Wilmer. Attack Wilmer. Attack Wilmer. Steiner. Hey, come back here! Yes, Vivi is the best boy. Honestly, like, I've only played this game for, like, a bit. But Vivi is, like, still my favorite character. Like, I'm familiar with some of the characters. Oh, yeah, this is my first playthrough. I've never actually played this game before. Uh, my familiarity with the characters is either through, like, brief glimpses of watching my sister play this game back years ago. As well as the characters' appearances in other Final Fantasy games, such as Dissidia, the Final Fantasy fighting game. Bah! Tis only a flesh wound! Of course they reference Monty Python. Um, this is, like, the PS4 uh, remastered version. So, like, they've um, essentially upscaled the graphics and they added a few features, like a fast-forward function, where you can speed the game up, and also disable random encounters for a few as well. So, like, if I hit the uh, the start button here, I've got uh, Battle Assistance, 999, I'm not really sure what the hell that does, Speed Mode, and Safe Travel. Uh, from what I understand, Safe Travel Mode disables random encounters, Speed Mode just makes the game run faster, uh, Battle Assistance is like a... Uh, what's the Mogiri mod? Uh, like, does that, like, upscale textures or something like that? Or is it, like, um, a rebalance of the game or something like that? I'm not really sure. You know, I'll look that up, actually. I'm kind of curious what the hell that is. Don't mind me. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull up my web browser here. Let's go FF9 Mogiri mod. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm on Reddit's talking about it, and there's also a Nexus mod. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the Nexus mod page. Let's see what it does. Uh, mod description. Okay, it adds HD backgrounds, aided by AI and polished by hand, manual redraws of 11,000 layer edges and area names, features from memory, 
Uh, okay, so it adds six. Oh, it adds widescreen support. Okay, uh, HD texturing, world map reworks, NPC battles, many bug fixes. Um, locks it at a consistent 30 FPS. Improved FMVs. Soundtrack reorchestration. Okay. I can see what you're talking about. I'm looking at the visuals. Like here, give me a second. Um, whoops, accidentally just minimized uh, OBS. Okay, cool. So anyways, um, give me a second here. Let's just pull up the web browser really quick. Okay, there we go. I got my um, okay. I got the, the tab open on my browser here. So, um, from what I can tell, yeah, like this actually does look pretty good. Like, from what I can tell, yeah, I'm seeing like artifacting of AI art. So yeah, they definitely did use AI art to upscale this. But like, I feel like this is something that AI art should be used for. Like, you're not necessarily taking someone's art and then essentially like creating something new with it, so to speak. You're essentially enhancing something that was done years ago. You're essentially restoring it. So I think for purposes like this, it's um, AI art is definitely a good tool. Oh, wow. This actually looks really good. Oh, it makes me wish I had the PC version. Like, this is actually cool. Like, okay, like, if I... If I was to buy the PC version, like, yeah, this would definitely be something I would uh, look into. Uh, you know what? I will... Um, here's what I want to do. When uh, this goes... When I upload this VOD to... Um, oh, shit. I just want to go back. I can believe that. So, here's what I'll do then. I'm just going to copy the link to this. If uh, people want the mod for themselves, uh, there's the mod. And uh, when this does eventually go on to YouTube, because I upload my VODs onto YouTube, after the stream is done, I will add this to the description so people can download the mod for themselves if they happen to own this game on PC. As th That is definitely a mod worth sharing. Stabilize configured. Good. Engine room is looking good too. All right. We're moving out. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm looking at the main dude there, the, the captain dude with the pink hair. He definitely makes me think like he might be like an orc or something like that. Cause like I know in some fantasy settings, they often depict orcs as having pig-like characteristics. I, I will say this, if they do ever do um, add voice acting to this game, because I've heard rumors that they're doing a remaster for this, similar to how Final Fantasy VII got a remaster. Granted, it's all just rumor right now. That's actually partly what inspired me to play this. Because I heard rumors of the remaster. I'm going to say this right now, um, when they do, um, if they do pick out voice actors, she needs to be dubbed by Danny DeVito. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. The queen needs to be dubbed by Danny DeVito. <laughs> I, I nominate Danny DeVito to dub her. Bomb is growing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Actually, my. Uh, I guess I can go here. What is in the way there? Hey. 
Hey, look behind you. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, consider asking. At the very least, um, I do have access to a strategy guide as well for this game, uh, should the need arise. Uh, because years ago, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of old uh, guidebooks, and one of the guidebooks in question was a Final Fantasy IX strategy guide. As well as a Final Fantasy VII strategy guide that was like on the verge of falling apart. So I have like a bunch of old Final Fantasy strategy guides, as well as a Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver strategy guide. Oh, you've got the strategy guide framed? That's cool. Like the strategy guide looks nice. Like I love the art for this game. Like that's part of what I like about this game. Like that's part of like what draws me to it. I will admit when this game first like, when I first, um, ex I guess, viewed this game, I guess, would be the way I'm looking at it. Um. Uh, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Uh, my sister originally was playing this game. Like, the art style originally put me off, because it's like I was more into the dark, gritty Final Fantasy games at the time. Because, you know, edgy teen. Y you know how it is, right? Like, because edgy teenagers. When I first uh, saw this game being played. Apparently my sister, I think she's played this game twice to completion. So, like, my sister is way more knowledgeable about this game than I am. Like, my knowledge is all second-hand knowledge. Well, yeah, I noticed. Like, um hell was it? Like, um, Princess Garnet's, uh, hood there was actually a reference to the white mage from Final Fantasy 1. And literally, Vivi looks like the black mage from Final Fantasy 1. Albeit his outfit's a little more beaten up. Although, dude's adorable, though. And everybody died. Plus, uh, Vivi actually made an appearance in, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Two, specifically. In, um, I think it was Traverse? Not Traverse Town, sorry, no. Um, I forget the name of the town. Hmm? The end? Is it, is it a town that he appears in called The End? I never imagined. Wait, no. I never imagined you would do such a thing. Perhaps you're not such a helpless little girl anymore. Zord. Thorn. Is our little experiment ready? Yes, your majesty. It is combat ready. Easily terminate Princess Garnet again, your majesty. I need her alive. Bring her back at once. <laughs> I, I don't know why I feel the need to give her like that kind of voice. <laughs> she kind of screams like the Mike Wazowski kind of voice in my head. <laughs> Love the voice for the <laughs> my voice for the queen. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Ship got mangled there. And actually, the uh, the flying ship is definitely a, a callback to like older Final Fantasy games as well. Like pretty much all of them, actually, because almost every Final Fantasy game to date has had some kind of flying ship. The snail. Uh, I think she's like a slug, actually. But yeah. All right. Are you all right? Yes, but the Prime Vista's wasted. I've played the first five Final Fantasy games. I only played three a few years back uh, on the DS, um, because that's the version I have. In the case of one and two, I played them on the PSP. Um, 
the rest I've played sporadically around, like, um, I think four? Or was it five? I forget. Um, I played via the Super Nintendo. No, it was, it was the Super Nintendo, yeah. And then five and six, there was a PlayStation collection that I played. And, uh, seven and eight, I played through to completion on the PS1. I started the remake. I haven't finished the remake for seven yet. So I haven't gotten around to playing um, the other one. And I just, this is my first time playing nine. I played through ten years ago. Uh, played eleven. Played a little bit of twelve, but uh, I had a really bad copy of twelve, so I got stuck. My disc, like, basically died on me. Oh, you hate the remake for seven? I don't know. I think Seven's remake is interesting. I kind of view it as like kind of a reimagining, sort of like a um, like like I don't know. I, I like some elements of it, but I preferred Crisis Core to be honest with you. Crisis Core, I loved. I loved Crisis Core. Just a look to crash in the forest. It's gonna get interesting. What do you mean, interesting boss? I hear no one's ever made it out of here alive. Boss! There's a fire everywhere. It's out of control. Quit your whining and get it under control, bitch. <laughs> and get the wounded out of here. Yeah, Zack is lovely. I, I, like, Zack is definitely one of my favorite characters in um, all of Final Fantasy. Alternatively, I also like Vincent. Um, also, random fun fact, or a little bit of trivia about myself in this regard, um, Vincent is actually the very first Final Fantasy figurine I ever bought. Was a Vincent. Uh, then later on, I bought a Squall figurine from Final Fantasy VIII. I only more recently got myself a Cloud and Sephiroth figurine. Although, to be fair, the Cloud figurine is just an amiibo. Released by Nintendo. Although, the Sephiroth figurine is one of those really expensive, like, um... Play Arts figure? I forget the exact name. That was released by Square Enix themselves? I think it's called Play Arts, right? Is it? Like, give, give me a second here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull up my thing. Actually, I'm kind of curious. How much? How expensive is the Sephiroth figurine I own? Okay, we got the web browser open here. FF7... Play arts Sephiroth. It's not the remake version, it's the original version, so cut the remake from the name. Okay, we're gonna go shopping just for the hell of it. How much holy shit. And I got this for free. Holy shit. People are people are selling this. Yeah, this is the version I got in this box. This is the exact one I have right here. Uh this is actually Google Chrome. But it's a um, I'm using a custom skin. Like, um, like, this is just a, um, a hexagon plugin. Like, so if I go to my, um, let's see if I go to, uh, what the hell is it? Extensions. Manage extensions. Ah, oh, here it is. Hexatab. Hexagon tab. This is the extension right here.
yeah, like, yeah, just look up hexagon tab. It's a, it's, a, I just really like it. The only downside is you kind of have to manually add stuff. So like, I can show you how easily customizable this is. So like, this is actually a fully custom setup that I did. So basically like what I do is I click the little pencil icon and then this is how you customize it. So I can click the little pencil icon on any of these icons and I can edit them. And if I click the little plus icon, I can like add like a new thing. So like here, we'll just go icon. Actually, no, we'll go image. No, we'll go icon here. So we'll go, um, we'll just go with, uh, we'll just search a logo, I guess. Okay, here, we'll go with, we'll go with Android's logo. Okay, there we go. There's our logo. We can have a name. We'll just say, um, we'll just make this YouTube, for example. Then I go to my address tab. We'll just make it uh, youtube.com. Pretty straightforward. And then we can do custom colors. We can make this any color I want. So we'll make it red. Custom color for the picture icon. We'll make that white. And show backgrounds. And we'll add, we can add an image or a video. So we'll just, for example, we'll just grab uh, this image. We'll just copy image address from that. And then hit paste plain text. Boom. Then we add, can add transparency to it. And then click add. And there you go. And you can see how customizable that is. Like that is, it's it's really it's surprisingly customizable. Like I'm, I'm just gonna delete that tab because I don't need that. Plus, it's like it's really convenient because I can just like click on all these and they're like, like icons will actually change colors, but like for the rest of them, I just have images that I just snagged from Google Image Search for all the other icons. Except for like Amazon and Twitter, which they both had on their icon resources. But it's just a really cool web extension. Uh, this is also compatible with uh, Microsoft Edge and uh, other Chromium browsers. I'm not sure if this is compatible with... Um, the hell's the name of the browser? Oh, another... Yeah, I think it might... I'm not sure if it's compatible... Yeah, Opera, that, that's what I was, I was thinking. Opera GX. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's compatible with Opera GX or not, but uh, still. It might be, might not be. I really have no idea. And get the wounded out of here. All right. Get our goods out of here, too. Weapons, items, anything we can use. There's no way we can survive if all our stuff is toasted. I'm on it, sir. But, yeah. Phew, I'm beat. Okay, there's a Moogle we can save. Okay. Hurry up and put out the fire. I can't carry them all by myself. I don't know. I just felt like making them sound like Barrett. What the hell are you doing? The whole ship's gonna burn up! They're looking for Garnet. Can't find her anywhere. Maybe she fell off. Got squished under the ship. This is great. First we kidnap her, then we kill her. We'll hang for sure. Zedad! I'm surprised you made it! I can't believe you jumped off! You're nuts, you know that? I didn't jump off, I got thrown out from the impact. So is everyone okay? Yeah, we all got the devil's luck. But if we don't find Princess Garnet, 
we're all dead meat. Eight couple. Active time event. System that lets you see other events that are happening at the same time elsewhere. Press the button when you see the flashing icon. You can press the button any time when the icon is flashing. Try pressing the Forest Keeper event. Okay. Woo! Are you alright? Is it still coming? Watch out! Okay, I need to save my game. Alright. You take your time. Alright, save. Yes. Wait, is this guy... I want mail, Koopa. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I was going to be stuck there for a second. Oh, I'm glad my symbol survived the crash. Garnet's missing. Blank's already searching inside. You search for her outside. Alright. Okay, let's see. Oh, dude's sleeping. Yo, get off of me! Oh, cool. Phoenix down. That'll be handy. Oh, there we go. The evil forest. Ah, yes. The evil forest. She's in trouble. Oh, is she now? Okay, let's turn this back down to normal speed. Just one more quick little ad break. All right. What the hell is that? Release the princess at once! Yeah. Like, it's really gonna listen to you. Come on! I should probably go to normal speed. Sword art. Oh, he doesn't know any sword art yet. Okay. Ah, he hit him with the right stem. Left stem. Okay, let's see. Uh, should not have done- oh, should not have done that. Should not have done that. Should not have done that! Should not have done that! <laughs> uh, 
should not have done that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit continue. I think I think it should just load before the fight. If I hit continue. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, plus I can actually read the text that was in the beginning of the battle. <laughs> ah, welcome back. Trance. Okay, so that's the trance ability. I'm assuming this is like a limit break, basically? What is that light? I don't know, somehow it raises my power. Could that really be trance? I've heard of it before. Trance is induced as a surge of emotion. Alright, let's take him. Okay, nothing to steal there. Diamond? Is that like an item or a skill? I don't think I have that yet. Well, um, I should probably heal Garnet. Skill. No. Attack. Prison. Oh, when I'm in trance again. Okay, okay. survive one more drain, I guess? Heal Garden. Uh, nothing actually. I made it myself. I even made multiple outfits, too. This is actually a relatively new outfit I made. Oh. He did. Monkey Devil is dead. Gotta heal the Monkey Devil. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, wow, okay, he only has like two HP. I gotta I gotta heal him right away. Oh, how did how did he survive that? Okay, I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. Probably. Not a good idea. Okay, we 
There's a heal her. Garner? Let's attack prison cage. Okay, cool. I actually beat it. I think. Princess! Princess! What the heck? Where'd it go? He going. Bye-bye! I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster probably gonna eat her. How could I let this happen? Don't worry, she's not dead yet. That monster was only a minion. He's probably gonna take her to his master. That means the princess might still be. Come, we must find her at once. Whoa! Oh no, it went for Vivi. Oh, there's no okay, that's the auto battle feature. Oh, the auto battle, I guess, is just gonna make them just keep manually attacking. Well, I mean, it's not like I really have much other options at the moment, so I guess I'll just auto battle. Actually, I think after this, I should. Uh, healing him on Vivi. And then we switch back to auto battle. A little bit of strategy here. Yeah, I healed Vivi. Okay, he's still pr looking pretty good. Okay, I guess he can probably survive one more absorb before I need to heal him. Attacks, and then I try to heal Vivi again. Gotta love that Vivi just keeps casting fire on this thing. Ah, okay, it's dead. Oh, uh, where am I from? I am from Kenda. In a little... in a little place known as Toronto, Ontario. Oh, Canada. My home and native land. <laughs> oh! I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue there. Princess! Oh well, I mean, they defeated it. They just got hit with sleeping gas, I guess. You guys are lucky. If you weren't... If it weren't for Zidane, you'd both be dead. Some of the monsters in this forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. And when the seeds sprout, it's hasta la vista. You're mincemeat. Ah, uh, am I gonna die? No, you're gonna be fine. Here, drink this. It'll remove all the seeds from your body. 
Princess, I'm coming right now. Uh, I mean, if you don't like ads, I guess it could be. Um, like, I, I guess look at it like this. It's like, do you view YouTube Premium as being worth it? Twitch Turbo is basically YouTube Premium, but, um... Unlike YouTube Premium, where you can assort, essentially get past some of the ads by using an ad blocker, uh, Twitch's turbo system, or Twitch's ads, can't really be skipped the same way, because it's like, a st you still get, like, um ad playing screen when the ads would pop up. But, um... So essentially, it'll treat all channels as if you're subscribed to them, in the manner of speaking that you get an ad-free viewing experience. So it's like, if you want no ads, it's worth it. Although, if you're already a Prime subscriber, I don't know if it would necessarily be worth it. Because it's like, you can just subscribe to like one streamer per month for free. But I mean, if you watch a lot of streams, it can be worth it. Room behind you, go! Although, to my knowledge, um, the AdSense money that they would have made from you watching ads, um, essentially, they still get the money from you being Turbo. So it's similar to YouTube Premium in that regard, where it's like, okay, if I watch a stream and an ad would have popped up here, instead of getting the ad, I don't get it, but they still get the money as if I had viewed the ad. So, in a sense, you are still technically supporting the streamer through um, the ad sense slash uh, I forget the exact terminology, but like you're still supporting them in a weird in a weird way. And I think they actually make a little bit more money from like turbo views than regular views. Um, but I have not. Um, I don't have the analytics to really prove that otherwise. The princess is in grave danger. Do you intend to abandon her? You're in no condition. Don't worry about the princess. The boss will think of something. Hey! Stop! Get some rest. Yeah, take the medicine I gave you. Damn it. I can't stand here. Okay, I'll, I'll hydrate. I got some water in my little water bottle here. A <sighs> couple of swigs there. Alright. Damn it, I can't stand it here. The princess's life rests in my hands. What can their boss possibly accomplish? This medicine, it smells terrible in the color. This is obviously poison. Does wine count? I don't know. I mean, I've got... I've got water, and I've got, um... got this tropical mango stuff. It's a boba tea? Like, I didn't know this until today. Apparently you can get boba tea in a can now. Because I saw it at Circle K. Because I went to Circle K this morning. I mean, I'm not really... <clears throat> I was curious. I've actually never had boba before, to be honest with you. So, like, this is actually, like, also a first for me. Weirdly enough. <sighs> Uh, I can't take it anymore. God help me. Hey, not bad. Forget it. Monsters are born out of the mist. I'll crawl in everywhere. So what? 
There's nothing out there we can't handle. Yeah, but what are you going to do about the wounded? We can take them with us. How are we going to carry all of them? Trust me. We go out now, and we're all get wasted. My boys come before the princess, you know? It's not too bad. We're going to stay put till everyone recovers. You better not set one foot outside this ship. You got that? I can't believe you. You're abandoning her? You're nothing but big cowards. Uh, let's go. Time to escape. Uh, yeah, hexagon tab. Uh, here, I can open my browser up again and I can show you the exact name. Here, go pull it up. Pull it up. Go to my browser extensions, manage extensions. Yep, it's called hexagon tab. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll just type the name into the, the chat here for you, the exact spelling. You can just Google this. There you go. There's the exact name. And it's like crazy customizable. Oh, cool, it even has a Chrome Store page. Okay, cool. There we go. Found it. There's your Chrome Store page link. Uh, you know what? Uh, I guess for people viewing this on YouTube as well, link will be in the description down below. Same as the mod. Uh, this is basically what it looks like by default. But you can change the background as well. You don't have to stick with the background just being a generic color. And it also supports animated uh, GIFs. I refuse to call them GIFs. Uh, case in point, there's an example of one. There's also that one. Uh, but keep in mind, though, to my knowledge, it has to be either locally stored on your system or... You can use a web URL. So if it's something like, say, hosted on, like, say, uh, DeviantArt or, like, other various websites, as long as you have the image URL, you can literally just, you know, copy-paste it, so to speak, to your um, thing. Hmm. The structure's in poor condition. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the walls. Fire! Fire! Let me out! <laughs> I'm still not feeling well. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15? How dare they write the name of such a ragged doll? No, oh, you're welcome. No problem. Besides, the princess is not 15. She's 16. Princess. My little baby. Okay, what's going on with the My Little Baby qu active time event? Should be around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Damn. Where is it? What happened to my garnet doll? 
Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Jeez. Ah. Didn't realize no one clicked the first thing. Sometimes that hap Sometimes that gets clicked before I even uh, thing. <laughs> Poor little doll. The fire probably caught it. <sighs> the girl who was left behind. Where'd everybody go? And what am I supposed to do now? Oof. <laughs> well, thank you. Alright, let's see. Uh, go to equipment. Uh, let's see. Equip. Protects girls? What? Okay. Leather hat teaches fire. Ooh, Mage Master is a better dagger, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mage Master can teach me Flea as well. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Look, so it basically makes so he protects female characters. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I can learn Flea from this dagger. Okay, so I guess I'll just... I guess... Optimize? Oh, okay. Plants that attack people. I guess they don't call this... Call it evil forest for nothing. I gave that black mage some medicine. He'll be alright. Why don't you go see him? I think he wants to thank you. Oh, I have to go to ability? Ability... Equip? Oh! Okay, so the ability system works similar to, um... Okay, so this this is a mechanic from Kingdom Hearts, too. Flea Gill? Oh. Thank you for helping me. Ah, don't mention it. Besides, it was your black magic that saved the day. You know, you've got some major power. For such a little guy. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not really too worried about figuring out what they do right now. I guess I just want to learn them. What's wrong? Are you peeved at me? Because I called you little? Hey, you're a great mage with great powers, alright? To hell with looks. It's what's inside that counts. I'm sorry. When that monster caught her, I couldn't do anything. Hey, don't worry about the princess. I'll get her back. Promise. Thank you, Mr. Zen. Oh, that's the first time ever anyone's ever called me Mr. Just call me Zidane. Alright? Okay. Zidane. Oh. I found money. But, yeah, but... Jeez. You're pretty down. Maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. I don't even know if I'm able to find her. Man. Never felt so strange. Maybe fate brought us together. Can 
can't explain it. Man, I can't stop thinking about her. Go look for her. Yeah. What's there to think about? She's cute. She's in trouble. That's all that matters. There you are. Why do you look so serious? Uh, yes, I have watched the Advent Children movie. I've also watched, uh, there was like a, an extended cut that came with a uh, Final Fantasy 15 demo. I also watched that version of the film. I forget the exact title of it. I, I have it on my DVD rack, but uh, that's in the other room. Uh, yeah. It don't have the English dub on it, though. And it has English subtitles to boot. The beauty of the PS3. <laughs> Screw region locking. I played it through that, because even DVDs, at least at one point in time, were region locked. Yeah, they got the Final Fantasy XV demo. I have a bunch of the Final Fantasy XV demos. Well, to be fair, I have two of them. Because there was one that was exclusive to PS4 that they gave out for free, and then there was another one. Although, they did eventually give that demo out to people who bought, uh, what was it called, uh, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. So that same demo was included in that as well, to my recollection. So, yeah. I don't know what it was. I, I just prefer playing DVDs and Blu-rays and junk on my PS3 for some reason. Because it just makes a better Blu-ray player and DVD player. Plus, it's got like it's an easier to navigate menu than the PS4. Or, by extension, the PS5. Like, nothing against those consoles. It's just, when it comes to media, I find the PS3 makes a better media center. Because you've got, like, dedicated media tabs that are way easier to navigate. Alternatively, the Xbox also works as a better DVD player. So I will admit I have also used my Xbox as a DVD player. Like, I love the PlayStation 4, I love the PS5, don't get me wrong, they're great consoles. But if you want a great multimedia device as a console, or I should say a multimedia device that functions as a console, and you want to go with the most modern device, I would argue probably go with the Xbox. Like, if you're only looking for multimedia playback. Like, granted, the PlayStation does have better exclusives, for the most part. But they're usually timed exclusives. Uh, to my knowledge, 16 is coming to PC at some point. They've confirmed as much. Most likely, it'll probably be sometime next year. Because, I mean, it 15 was a similar story where it, it came out on PC like a year later, so... Yeah. Soonish. I'm gonna take... Like, they'll probably announce it at the Tokyo Game Show, most likely. I'm gonna take, a, take that knight and that black mage and find the princess. You crazy, man. You don't even know what's out there. Besides, there's no way the boss will allow that. I know. Jeez. Why do you always gotta play the hero? The boss is gonna kill you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to boss. We locked the old knight up in the instrument storage room. He fusses a little from time to time, but he ain't hasn't been all that bad. Oh, they've actually announced it. Okay, I didn't realize. Okay, okay. 
I did not realize that. Like, I've already played and finished Final Fantasy 16 on stream a while back. I enjoyed the hell out of that game. I even played all the DLC. Good game. If not uh, a little unfair at some points, and I'm going to say this right now, I got very frustrated with the Leviathan fight. Okay, give me a second here. Um, I'll just pull up the Steam page on my web browser again. Let's go Steam. 16. Pre-purchase Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Oh, there's even a download. Oh, actually, you know what? A friend of mine was actually... would probably want me to send that to them. sure if they're aware of that or not. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and there's pre-order bonuses too. Okay, let's see. You get the Kate, Sith Charm, 16 Bells, Orchestra Roll, and the Brave Blade. Oh. Oh, and I got hit with a crow. Um, but yeah. Yeah, okay, it looks like the pre-order weapon is different, but other than that, it's more or less the same. Wait, I wonder, are they are they going to be getting the DLC, like, trickled out over time, same as the console version did? Or are they going to be getting it, like, day and date, with the con- like, with the release? Like, that is a little unclear. Okay, okay. It looks like, uh, from what I can see here... Um... Oh, here's some interesting info. Apparently, if you play the demo, your save data carries over to the full game from the demo. So, that's awesome. So, I mean, if you were already interested in playing the game for yourself, um, I'd say download the demo right now. At least you can make some level of progress on the game right now, and then when the game actually does come out, well, you're good to go. You've already got some progress made. He fusses a little bit from time to time. He hasn't been all that bad. Okay, I should probably talk to boss, then. I mean, fair enough. I mean, in my own, in my case, I'm probably not going to bother buying it because I already own the game. Because like, if I if I quickly go to like the PlayStation here, like I go to my game tab, go to my collections, because I literally have a folder here just for my Final Fantasy games that I own digitally. Well, there's a few Final Fantasy games that I own physically mixed in here too, on the PS uh, four and five respectively. There, Final Fantasy 16, King's Tale, Dissidia, 15, 12, Crystal Chronicles, 9, The Metrium, although that's just the demo though, Final Fantasy 14, 7 Remake. But. Either way. Yeah, the city is a good game. It's just honestly, it's a shame. Like I really don't like how they did the story mode though. Um, I think it's a decent enough fighting game. Um, I would argue the older city games are actually better in my opinion. So, in my opinion, I actually prefer um the original Dissidia or um Oh, what the hell was it called? There was a sequel for the Dissidia. Uh, it was on the PSP. It's funny, because like, I actually own it, and I just don't remember the name. The exact name. Uh, Dudesum Dissidia? Gotcha. Took you long enough. I fell asleep, damn it. 
So, you're leaving her? Yeah, I promised Garnet I'd kidnap her. <laughs> I didn't ask you why. Oh, City 012. Okay. Can't blame you, though. She damn beautiful. I guess that's reason enough. Well, I hope you're ready. Because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. All right. Okay, get your butt over here. Cargo room? Get over to the cargo room. We got a more room over there. Ah, potion. Oh yeah, there was also the prologue for Dissidia as well, which was a little download, a little spinoff, and if you completed it, you unlocked... Um, Aerith as a uh, playable character. Or well, not a playable character, sorry. A playable assist character. So she would assist in combat. Because um, in that one, they introduced support characters that would essentially not actually be directly involved in the fight, but you could, like, when they built up a meter, you could call them in to fight. Uh, what's with the stars? If you tried to post a link, um, I have links blocked. Uh, only moderators and uh, myself can post links. Uh, if you want to share a link, you can, I guess, share it in the Discord. I also uh, post when I go live automatic. Like, I have a bot that, like, posts when I go live as well. In there. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, can I grind levels? Rubber helm? Okay, I need to check out some of this equipment that I just got. Okay, looks like a bunch of that stuff might not even be for me necessarily. Okay, so I just gotta gotta fight. Any time. I ain't holding back. <laughs> that tickles, man. Yow! Oh god, is this brawl? Ah, oh, cool. Okay, let's see if there's anything to steal. Ah, oh, stole an iron sword. Yeah, I stole his iron sword. You gotta fight better than that. Sure, are you sure I gotta steal fight better than that? Grah. What is this? See enemies items, okay. Carries high potions. Oh wait, can I steal high potions? Steal his high potions. Couldn't steal anything. Okay, okay. Well, it was at least worth trying. Should probably heal on this next move. All 
Alright, time to kick his ass. I'll be damned. Bravo. Gut punch. Surprise gut punch. Go find your princess. Bitch. Damn, that hurt. He pulled his punches to the last one, huh? Come on, you're too old to be playing with dolls. Silence, you scoundrel! Like you could never understand! Uh, do I like chicken nuggets? Um, hmm. Is the sky blue? Is lemonade made with lemons? Do alcoholics drink alcohol? If you answered yes to any and all of these questions, then you know the answer. <laughs> yes. Yes, I very much like chicken nuggets. I especially love dipping them in uh, sriracha mayo. Silence! A scoundrel like you could never understand. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's nighttime for you right now. It's only like 4.13pm uh, for me right now. So, I mean, I guess... Ooh, actually, it's really bright outside. Do not look directly into the sun. <laughs> Sorry. I, like, the sun is, like, beating against my window right now. I turned my head and I was like... It's like... Bah! I almost went blind. <laughs> not good for vampires looking the sun. I mean, it, it, and that's, that's with the blinds drawn. By the way. <laughs> it's like, I can only imagine how much worse it would be if I didn't have that curtain and the blinds set up there. Ah. Uh... Fair enough. Three hours till midnight. Oh, so you're five hours ahead of me. Okay. Well, you're roughly like five hours ahead of me, give or take a minute or two. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kidnapped her. This is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I will have your head. Take it easy. Jeez. I'm gonna look for her now. I'll let you come with me if you promise to be good. What do you say, Rusty? R R Rusty? I am Albert Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I will never work with you conniving thieves. Captain? I figured you were a private. What with that cheap, rusty armor? Look. This has nothing to do with Tantalus. It's something I decided to do on my own. I just want to save Garnet. <laughs> you better not be lying. Because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. You want Donner a Donner kebab? Yeah, yeah, I'm counting on you, Rusty. Make no mistake. I'm only going with you to rescue the princess. I will deal with you personally when this is over. Whatever. It may be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. 
Why are you calling him master? You fool! That black mage has unimaginable powers! I don't want to get him involved, but alas, I can't be helped. I'm sorry, it can't be helped. We need Master Vivi's power to rescue the princess. Alright, well, let's go talk to Vivi. Oh yeah, you can tell. You can tell his armor is not very well maintained. Getting out of this force is gonna be tough. Getting back above the mist is gonna be even tougher. It's a long way to landing bomb. Well, Vivi, we're ready to go look for the princess. Really? That's great. Be careful, okay? Actually, we want to, we want you to come with us, too. Huh? All right, take it easy. But I can't do anything. Hardly, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, your power is the greatest is great to esteem than I do this oh I hold the, your power in greater esteem than I do the scoundrels but I'm scared I couldn't even move last time please Master Vivi for the sake of Princess Garnet and all of Alexandria I humbly request your assistance come on you're a black mage for crying out loud show us what you got all right, let's get going. Okay. I'll I'll try my best. Thank you, Master Vivi. Master Vivi. Yeah. It's about your black magic. I wish to try an experiment. I was wondering if whisper whisper whisper. Magic sword. Okay, I'll give it a try. Ooh, sounds cool. All right, let's see. I should probably wear the rubber helmet because it's actually weaker. Wait. All right, there we go. I heard you beat the boss. You sure all something. I don't know why the boss was laughing afterwards. Maybe you hit him too hard? Yeah, I hit him with the one-two laughing gas.
Sheesh! You're a real digger, huh? Can't sit around knowing a girl's in trouble. Goes against my nature. Whatever. You're full of crap. Oh, I get it. You're jealous that I'm gonna get me a sweetie pie. <sighs> She's not even my type. I came down here to give you this. You're always thinking about me, but I won't need a love potion to real warn this one in. Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave the black mage in the night. It's sort of like seed remover. Cool. It'll come in real handy. Why am I always helping you? Oh yeah, here's a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set abilities. Leaving the band is your business, but you better keep your training. Learning more abilities is going to make you even stronger. Good luck, Baku. Hey, Blank. How do you set abilities again? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't need the tutorial. Yeah, I already know how to do this. How about never? All right. Orchestra in the forest. Okay, let's really liven up this place. Yeah, our music do the fighting against these monsters. This ought to boost morale. This is great. Brum, brum, brum. Hey, not bad. I'm gonna take a look around, man. Stay on your toes. We'll be leaving soon. Alright, okay, boss. That was kind of a weird little cutscene. River goes. Ah, is this the Moogle I need to deliver the letter to? Hmm. No signs of any monsters here. A spray? Do as I say, not as I do. Are you sure about this? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, too. Here, take this map. It's gonna be a long trip back to Lindenblom. Alright, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. Magnet? Oh, it's Monty. Give Monty a letter. A letter from Koopa? Thank for delivery, Koopa. From Koopa to Monty. <clears throat> I think Queen Ratty is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more. She might leave home soon with a princess on a white horse. Oh, with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm, princess Garnet? Didn't she just... Oh, never mind, Koopa.
Oh, cool. It restores HP and MP. Okay, that'll be useful for grinding. Okay, let's go high speed. There we go. We're just gonna we're gonna do a little bit of grinding here. Because this seems like a good opportunity to do it. I guess I should just auto battle. All right, this is going to be easy grinding. <laughs> Speeding up the game definitely makes it a lot less tedious. Oh yeah, this is definitely helpful. And yes, I know I, I killed off my main... my St I killed off Steiner. But there's a valid reason I killed him off. Welcome back. I'm using the speed up to basically make grinding a little less tedious. And I noticed... Oh, wait, what? Is my mic off? What's going on here? Let's see. Mic, 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 mic. No, my mic is working. Or at least it should be. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, it seems to be working when I checked the monitor. Can you hear me now? It should be working. Hmm. 
Wait, you're kind of upset? What's going on? Equipment, VV, so now that he's mastered fire, uh, well, I mean, I don't have anything I can change him out to other than what he's already got on. Actually, wait a minute, I got an, I got an idea. Give me a second here. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. That sucks to hear. Can I equip Vivi's hat to anyone else? Looks like I can. Hmm. I don't know, I, I don't like I don't like the idea of people cheating. I mean, I've experienced it myself. It's, it's not a fun. It's not fun. I mean, it gets better. It's just... The initial sting can be a bit much. I mean, usually there's two options in my eyes with this sort of stuff. I mean, you can either stick it out and see how it goes. I would, like, if you do do that, I strongly recommend therapy. Or you call it, which is usually the, uh, I guess, the more... I guess it's the better response? Yeah, and I deliberately killed him so I could remove the status ailment he had. Now if I can get a if I can get a nice weak enemy to spawn.
we're gonna murder Steiner. We're not murder Steiner. Uh, actually, you know what? Because we're getting so many damn eye drops, we'll just use them. speed back down to normal. Okay, let's see. Steiner should have learned a new move. I think it's under his abilities tab. No, not minus strike. Okay, so he's mastered bird killer. Okay, what piece of his equipment gives him bird killer? Beast killer? Bird killer. Ah, okay, so it's his armor that gives him bird killer. He's still got a master beast killer and minus strike. Because once he's mastered beast killer, I'm going to switch him to the iron sword, which is better. Like, I guess the iron sword would speed up the process in which he learns minus strike, because it's two pieces of equipment teaching him the skill, but it uh, might be better to keep him like that for now. Okay, okay, I see. He can't learn uh, Flea Gill. Okay. Yeah, uh, the thing is, this is a similar mechanic to another game I've actually played. It's called Lost Odyssey. It was an Xbox 360 exclusive game. Um, uh, according to what I remember from uh, director interviews, um, the creator basically stated that he was inspired by the older PS1 generation Final Fantasy games when creating the game. The thing is, none of the Final Fantasy games that I had played up to that point, so Final Fantasies 1 through 9, had this mechanic with the equipment skills. But the thing is, um, Lost Odyssey does have that mechanic, and it's almost identical to this. It, the only difference, I think, in Lost Odyssey is that um, the immortal characters can learn any skill. Because uh, the main character that you play as, um, he's an immortal. And there are other characters that you can encounter throughout the story that are also immortal. Um, so basically, the, I guess the gimmick of him is, uh, the immortal characters is, uh, when they die in battle, uh, they don't stay dead. They, they just stay dead for a few turns and then they get back up. But the non-immortal characters, they when they die in battle, they don't get back up. Unless you use a revive item on them. I mean, you can get the immortal characters back up sooner with resurrection items. Which I thought was an interesting mechanic for that game. You know, I should probably play uh, Lost Odyssey on stream at some point. I feel like that'd be an interesting game to play. I wonder if it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One. Because I'd sooner play it on my Xbox One, because I, I just prefer the controller for the Xbox One over the uh, over the 360 controller. Plus, I don't want to have to pull the 360 out if I don't have to. Uh, like, nothing against the 360, it's just... Do I really want to dig that system out? I don't have to. It's like, can you really blame me? Can you? There she is. 
So this is the master. Princess! You stay out of this. Alexandria would be distressed if a mere bandit should rescue the princess. You think you can handle them on your own? Let's get him, Vivi. <laughs> Ooh, got a lot of sweeping cameras there. Okay, sword art, minus strike. Focus. Skill. We're just gonna steal. Right, just close the eyebrows. Sword magic. Black magic. Oh yeah, that that's the ticket. That is cool that I can combo the the characters together like that. I like the fact that Vivi and Steiner actually can combo with each other. What? Like... Okay, sword magic fire... Okay, I, I need to res... So... Phew, I made it just in time! Step aside, I'll take care of this. Singled me out. Okay, if I do do it like this, blank should heals it in. Wait, what? Oh, BS. Oh, that is BS. Princess, get a hold of yourself. Zane, give her the stuff. <laughs> Princess, please try to drink all of it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna heal when I get the chance. Oh man, what now? Jeez, we're gonna be surrounded. Let's get out of here. What are you waiting for?
Oh, crap. Okay, fun. I'll, I'll, I'll have to heal mid-battle. Vivi can, like, quick kill these guys, I think. seeing Steiner in a trance state. Wait, I didn't mean to make Vivi melee attack. I'm looking at Steiner's armor, it's kind of giving me, like, Buzz Lightyear vibes for some reason. I think it's because of all the green and purple. He was doing good damage! So at the very least, I can definitely agree. after us. Blank. Take care of everyone. What do you mean by that? Wow, Emma! <laughs> I love Vivi's little run. God damn it, Vivi. Stop being adorable for like 10 seconds. Bloody well alive. This is trippy. Oh, he did. He did. He did, man! He did! Damn it. That idiot. Blank. I hope she gets well soon. Why oh, no, it was Vivi. I hope she gets well soon. This is all his fault. Have you nothing to say, you filth? Princess! Steiner? How did I survive? You brought me here? It is my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It was VZ's magic. It was VV's magic and my dagger that got you out of there, Princess. I thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. Racism. All right, time to cancel uh, Steiner on Twitter.com. <laughs> All right, time to just start the <laughs> just start the cancel brigade on Steiner. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I joke, I joke, but still, let's. <laughs> Uh, starting to sound like Lord Frieza there, Steiner. Ah, yes. None of this would have happened if, it, if you and your band hadn't abducted the princess. Sorry. Uh, how... How dare you claim that you have rescued her? When we get back to Alexandria, I will... Steiner? I left the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? We went to snatch her and she wanted to be snatched. Impossible! It's true. So what do you say, Rusty? Friends, come on. Let's enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. Camping, you imbecile. Truly, surely, even you must know something about the mist. The vicious monsters it spawns, the ab abnormalities it stirs in the mind and body. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You've got to be kidding me. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence. Who asked you of your opinion? Alright, tell me. How do you plan to get out of here? We're standing in a valley, surrounded by tall cliffs. And last I heard, North Gate and South Gate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. The princess can barely walk right now. You went through this, you should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow you. Steiner. State your sworn duty. What else? To protect the princess. Very well. Until the princess recovers, I will guard this place with my life. Sounds good to me. Vivi, let's get some rest. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it, it, it got pretty dark this game pretty quickly. I wasn't expecting it to get dark as dark as it did. Like, they killed off a, a, a main character, too. With Blank. Pretty early in the game. Like, I think with um, other RPGs, usually they wait until, like, around the midway point to do that sort of thing. Like, I guess spoiler warning here, for those who haven't played 7, Aerith dies. Or Ares if you're in certain other regions. And she dies, like, around the midway point of the game. Or, like, there are other, the other RPGs that have done it, but it's, it was really, like, controversial for the time. Because it, like, it was the first time that it had happened before. Where, like, an RPG, like, killed off one of its main characters so... so brazenly. Like, I think the only other RPG I can think of that did something similar was, um... Fantasy Star 4. Like, they did it way earlier. But, um... They did it near the... They, they did it pretty late in the game, I think. How are you feeling? Good. Thanks to that medicine you gave me. Could this be... Yeah, I was surprised too. After we beat that plant guy, the forest got completely petrified. Maybe you told me that we were able to escape because of your friend. His name is Blank. We must go help him. We can't do anything for him right now. But I can't. We'll come back for him. I'm sure there's a way to cure him. Let's get going. According to the map that Blank gave me, 
there's a caravan to the south of us. Or sorry, a cavern to the south of us. Maybe we can get above the mist through the cave. It's through the cavern. Are you alright? Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Look. There's something coming. Hey, Koopa. I'm impressed, Koopa. First time I've seen anyone escape from Evil Forest. You all must be strong, Koopa. But don't get cocky, Koopa. Lots of strong monsters ahead. Before you go, out to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. Teach me lesson, Mogster. Lesson one. Hey, bro. What are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. You're going to love this lecture. Help menu. When you see this in the menu, press the, the, the touchpad and you'll come and I'll come to help you anytime. After you're done with my help, press the button again and I'll, I can leave. I'm usually pretty busy, so try not to keep me for too long. First I'll go over battle okay, blah, 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 blah. Really? They're giving me a tutorial this late in the game? Actually, you know what? Trance section might be some. When trance occurs, the characters transform. Your powers increase while under trance. In addition to greater attack power, you receive new battle commands. Okay. Save Moogles. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Trance is definitely good. I have to gift you for you, Kubo. Take this flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Kubo. Press square to play it. Happy trails, Kubo. Thank you. Kubo. Bye, Koopa. What the? Where goes the... Who goes there? Your friends already left, Koopa. Princess, wait! <laughs> Ride vehicle... It's called navigation. Lock, unlock camera, switch perspective. Say press the square Dumb idea. I'm gonna take the silk shirt off of her and temporarily equip it to Vivi. Because he needs the thunder more than she needs the cure. And she can wear Vivi's old leather shirt. So at least she gets the defense stat boost. Plus, it looks like her staff teaches her cure anyways, so... Plus, 
plus added benefit, at least this will give Vivi the ability to learn Thunder. Thought of something. Wait. Okay, so. good spot to wrap up for now as this is around the time I usually end Saturday stream <sighs> which I'm starting to feel stiff oh welcome back oh, sorry I'm just stretching a little bit Looks like I can't get it now. <laughs> uh, I jumped on that stream a little too late. Oh well. I'm just gonna drop a raid on someone. Let's see. Is uh, there's a friend of mine I want to raid if they're online right now? Oh, cool. They're actually just starting. Looks like. Actually, there's a few of them that are just starting. Uh, basically, you just type. You can type in uh, into the chat basically slash raid, and then you would type in the channel's name. Or if you have the uh, the act the quick actions doc, there's a little button you can click that pulls up a menu. Here, like I, I'm just gonna share my full screen. So I actually have the dock in question that I set up. So like you can see here, these are some people I can raid. Like right now, if I click on any of these guys, I can I'll raid them. So I'm probably gonna okay, we'll go out. Uh, Orion VT, he's streaming Genshin Impact. Um, uh, Thunder Hunter is streaming um, Jack X Combat Racing. So, I guess I'll raid them. Keep up the nostalgia train, so to speak. And you can see it also shows me a preview of what they're streaming. It shows me their active chat and everything that's going on. So you can see, oh yeah, they're, they're playing Jack X Combat Racing. Okay. So I'm going to click Start Raid. Guess this is a little bit of a behind the scenes thing here. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock on them, I'm just gonna click raid. Okay, did the raid thing pop up? seem to want to do the thing. So I'm going to type in slash raid channel name. We're going to do the old-fashioned method. Copy the username. Control V. Enter. Oh! They have raids disabled. Okay. That's why I can't raid them. That's annoying. Uh, okay, let's try channels that have rated. Why does he have rating blocked? What the heck? Okay, we'll try. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just raid Orion, I guess. I mean, if you actually play Genshin Impact, there's drops, so. On 
unless he has drops. Let's try slush weed. There we go. Uh, Genshin Impact is a action open world RPG with gotcha mechanics. Um, basically, you can you get this thing. They're like shards, and you can use those shards. Uh, they're called wishes, and then you can basically. Um, roll for a free character, basically. You can also pay for the wishes. You don't necessarily have to, however. Like, you can completely play the game from beginning to end, completely free. It has a decent story, and on top of that, just by playing the game, they also throw a decent number of characters at you for free as well. Like, uh, I think when you start, you get um, the Traveler character. Everyone gets them. And you can choose to either be the male traveler or the female traveler. There is not much of a difference. I think the female traveler hits a little harder physically, but the abilities, to my knowledge, hit harder for the male traveler. So it's like, do you want stronger abilities or do you want stronger sword attacks? That's kind of like a balancing act there. Um, and then, and to be honest with you, like once you get enough other characters, you probably won't be using the traveler much anymore afterwards. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, either way. I'm ending here. Base. 